Today is the Feast of All Souls, and on this day we pray for the souls in purgatory. When I was young, there was a story told to me by my sister about a man in our village in India who used to pray for the souls in purgatory every day. On his way back from work uh, in the evenings, he would pass by the cemetery in our village, and there he would pray for the people who were buried in, in that cemetery. It was heard, though, that uh, when he had died, uh, many people said that they noticed that there were figures that were coming out of the graves of the, in, in the cemetery, and they were sort of processing towards the church where the man's body was being kept for the funeral. And it was thought that these souls were the souls whom he had prayed for, the ones who were sort of redeemed, who were set free uh, by this man's prayers, who the ones who had been helped in their purification by his prayers. And now in his time of need, now at the hour of his death, they had come to intercede for him. So what I learned from this story is to always pray for the souls in purgatory, to do so first out of charity, out of love, because we want them to enjoy finally their heavenly reward. We want them to be purified as God intends, and we want them after their purification to enjoy the beatific vision of our heavenly Lord. But then in return, what we find is that our prayers earn us intercessors, very powerful intercessors, who in their gratitude, in their love for us, begin to pray for us that we too, at the, at the moment of our death, might very quickly make our way to heaven, very quickly we might be purified, and that we might enjoy, as they do, the beatific vision. So let us then pray for the souls in purgatory today. Let us pray, first of all, for their sanctification, and let us pray also for their intercession in our lives, that we too might become holy.